It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world only a banger home. Have you ever dealt with married men? Like yeah, as customers? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Does it bother you or no. listen, men are gonna cheat. Anything I've learned, if he gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. If he a cheater, he a cheater. I'm not there to judge. Once again, like I said, my job is to is to be that vibe, to have fun, to be that companion. A lot of men, like I said, they're married, they're not happy in life, you know what I mean? They're they're always arguing, they're always upset, their marriage is in shambles. Like, why can't I be that person to provide them some sort of like little relief in their day? It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world only a banger home. Megan, mm -hmm. very nice to meet you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. My name is at and Reed with All Time Media. Okay. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Megan. Where are you from? Um, originally I am from Houston. Okay. Born and raised? No, I actually moved up to, I guess, Philadelphia suburbs, probably when I was 10. All right. Yeah. My dad's side of the family is from up here, so. Okay. All right, so that dragged you to this side. Do you like it better here or Houston? What you like better? I'm not gonna lie. I do like it up here better. I feel like East Coast people are more authentic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, down South, I guess it has its glamor, but it can get, it can get really chaotic. And it, I believe, just in my personal experience, that it is more dangerous just in Houston itself than yeah. any East Coast states. I've been, I've been in New York, DC, all over. So it's like. I mean, I do like that comfortability. Okay, so you travel some places. I do. So, what's one of your some of your favorite states? Washington. I like Seattle. Okay. Have you ever traveled out the country yet? Uh, Mexico. Did you like it out there? I did. You did. Um, I got a couple more stuff on the list. I gotta renew my passport, but mm -hmm. other than that. All right. So, how was growing up for you? How was your childhood, Megan? <laughs> Yeah, so how was growing up for you, Megan? I'm not going to lie. Growing up was, it was good. Um, my parents, they weren't rich. You know, we weren't, we weren't wealthy or anything, but my basic needs were definitely taken care of. Um, I was happy. I was very sheltered. But for what I knew, I guess, at the time, I, I was happy. I was comfortable. You know, you're a kid. Yeah. All right. What's up? So take us to your day-to-day, -day, Megan. Take us through Megan's life. <laughs> How was your day to day? My day to day varies, so I can't really give you like a, a firm judgment on that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my day to day varies. I like it though. I like having that freedom to kind of wake up and choose what I would like to do. Okay. Yeah. And what brings you that freedom? You, you don't have a nine to five or anything? <laughs> Work a no, job? No, nothing like that. Entrepreneur. Okay. Entrepreneur. All right. Can you speak on your work a little bit? Uh, I'm an escort personal companion you know i i provide what what people need whatever they're missing in life hopefully i can bring some sort of comfort or peace mm -hmm. you know everybody everybody is looking for something somehow somewhere they need something to relieve them from whatever it is that controls their life or whatever it is that stresses them out in life you you would never believe man guys as uh, as like taboo as it it is to speak on the subject of like even men expressing their feelings a lot of men are like very emotional you don't get that yeah you you always think that the woman has to be emotional men can't show their emotions they're not allowed to feel but once you really like talk to them once you really understand you understand that they're people too and they have a lot of pressure on them to live up to these societal standards you know to be that man so i'm just there to you know be that peace so they can relax they can be themselves so Megan, um, mm -hmm. being in the escort business, how old was you? How old was you when you started? Oh no, no, no! I was not underage or nothing like that. Okay. I started dancing when I was eighteen. Okay. So yeah, it, it kind of starts there, and then it, it progresses. You know, you meet the right people, you get put in the right places, and you can flourish. Do you love the line of work that you do? I really do. Like I said, I feel as if that I'm helping people. Yeah. I like I like the fact of knowing that. I'm doing good in the world. Once again, the money is good. I don't have to rely on other people to survive or to sustain 
the things that I want and what I like to do. You know, traveling, like I said, I like, I like finer things in life. So this kind of gives me that, that opportunity to, like I said, do what I want. I guess I was always growing up when I started to get older, I was always like a little rebellious. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess that's why this might be like a good fit for me. Absolutely. As long as you love what you do. As long as you, you know? love what you do. If it doesn't feel like a job, then it's not a job. I hear that a lot. Yeah. So how much money you think you make a day? <laughs> well, I can't talk about that. But a good a good amount. Definitely a good amount. You make more than an average nine to five worker? Uh, shit, more than a doctor, I'll tell you that. Oh, if we're talking man. about like hourly, how much do doctors make? Like what? 70, 80, 100, somewhere up there an hour. So we're looking we're looking pretty good. Like I said, I do I do all right for myself. Okay, I respect it. All right. Do you, do you know, like, people, you ain't got to put them out there, though, but is there a lot of women that secretly do this line of work and stuff? What? Because <laughs> there's guys, you know. 100%. It's like, dang, how are you able to afford all these trips back to back like that? 100%. Are you getting flown out? Listen, or? Regardless, regardless if they're doing it in the terms of how I'm doing it, mm -hmm. a woman is still getting her money, no matter what. I promise you. Right. Nah, yeah. there are plenty of women who who definitely, definitely do this in whatever fashion it is. I don't know if they're just, they got sugar daddies. I don't know if they just got little boyfriends, <laughs> give them cash. Like you said, girls like nice things. They like to take trips. So shit, they're going to they gonna find a way to get that money. Trust me. Yeah. So they just going to make it happen. Listen, listen, if a woman is persistent and she wants some cash and a guy thinks she's cute, it's, it's like A plus B. There you go. Or <laughs> yeah. A plus B, one plus two. Yeah. Megan, yeah. did anybody ever teach you the game? Yeah, I actually had the best teacher. You know, every every good boxer needs a coach. You know what I mean? Somebody yeah. to make them stronger, to hone their craft, to make sure they exercise their body, their minds, everything. So I genuinely, I had somebody good, you know, to lace me, teach me well. Or I hope so. I, I try to be a good reflection of everything that I've been taught. You know, everything's a learning process, though. Megan, how old are you? I'm 21. When's your birthday? <laughs> you gonna buy me something for my birthday? <laughs> we'll see. You know, uh -huh. We'll see. It's we'll November. There. I'm a Scorpio. Oh, November. Yeah. November what? 21st. I'm a Scorpio too. When's your birthday? The 7th. Hey, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. What you want for your birthday? Um, I just want good vibes, good around good people. I don't really need too much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Good energy. You know. You? What do I want for my birthday? You wanna say something crazy, huh? <laughs> A million dollars. <laughs> no, no. My birthday present, actually, I'm buying for myself. Okay. I've been saving up. I got an appointment, though, but I'm getting new titties for my birthday. Okay. Right. I figured, listen, me personally, listen, if she can buy it, then fuck it. If she can buy it, then she should buy it. If you want to enhance your body and you got the money to, then I feel as if you should go for it. Like, nobody can judge you or hate on you. You had the money to buy it and it's expensive, girl, go for it. So, you know what I mean? I, I feel as if that... I'm still young enough to not to not alter my body too much. Yeah. But I feel like I've put in a lot of hard work over these last couple of years. I put in a lot of hard work, a lot of time, a lot of energy. So I was like, this is my little birthday present. Okay. Nothing too crazy, but you know, a little, little something. Have you um paid for any surgeries anywhere else? No, no surgeries. No, so this is gonna be your first one? Yeah. You I mean I had like I am, but only for like the recovery. Yeah. I heard the recovery kind of hurts, but like I said, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I earned this and it feels good. I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, any trauma in your life from the past, from your childhood that you deal with? <laughs> um, it's crazy. Like I said, I grew up sheltered. So all the trauma I really endured wasn't until I got older and was on my own. So I guess necessarily I can't, you know, I can't be one of those people who like blames their trauma on other people like my parents or you know, somebody hurt me, this or that. So I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those. Any, I guess, trauma I've had in my life, I've kind of inflicted on myself by putting myself in certain predicaments. So what I would say on trauma is just to learn, to really learn from your trauma. Sometimes it's good to not, to not be too in your head about it. You know, mm -hmm. some people, their first instinct is to be like, woe is me, I have this trauma, this or that. And that's okay. It's good to, you know, embrace your trauma and try to work through your issues but then again life moves on you got to keep pushing Absolutely. you know everybody has something they're going through and everybody the next person is going through something 
completely worse than what you're going through. So it's like, you got to take things, you know, for what they are. Absolutely. Mm. Have you ever dealt with married men? Like, yeah, as customers? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Does it bother you or? No. Listen, men are going to cheat. Anything I've learned, if he going to cheat, he going to cheat. If he a cheater, he a cheater. I'm not there to judge. Once again, like I said, my job is to is to be that vibe, to have fun, to be that companion. A lot of men, like I said, they're married. They're not happy in life. You know what I mean? They're they're always arguing. They're always upset. Their marriage is in shambles. Like, why can't I be that person to provide them some sort of like little relief in their day? Even if we're just talking, even if they just take me out to dinner, you know, some, some guys don't even get that in their own household. They don't, they don't have a woman in their life to really take care of them or cater to them. And that's all a man wants. He just wants to feel appreciated. So I'm like, even married men, I don't care if they're married, single, girlfriend, whatever. So Megan, I just want to thank you for your time. It's very short. She says she has a hair appointment today. I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we want to end it. I got some stuff to do today as well. But um, any last things you want to say to anybody? Um, to the females that's into the line of work that you're in? Any advice? Just stay strong. Be safe. Watch your back. And be smart. Your intuition is everything. So, listen, if something don't feel right, then it ain't right. And even if it could be right, then fuck it. Why risk your peace of mind or your safety or anything? Money comes and goes. That's one of the things I can say. No matter how much money I make, money comes and goes. That shit will be gone tomorrow. So don't get too caught up in the money, you know? If this isn't something that you feel, like I said, like you have a happy spirit about, then, man, leave it alone. Okay. Because that'll just tear you down. All right, Megan. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. We out. All Time Media. Right. It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a ward, only a banger home.